Hello, everybody. This is Darkfan. And today, we got a special video. We're going to talk about the setup that I use when I record videos. And then there will be a second video that talks about um, my audio setup for streaming, as well as my OBS setup and all that. But I will include that as a separate video because I know a lot of people won't like that. So let's get right into things. The first thing you're going to need is the software that I use, if you want to replicate what I'm doing. So for my audio, I am using, you know, let me grab this over here. I am using a voice meter banana, and you can find that in the, I'll put the link down below so you can find that on this site. I am also using um, this hi-fi cable. And we'll kind of get into the reason why I have that as well. So that is the the piece for the audio. Now to record video and everything else, my gameplay and all that stuff, I use Playclaw. And there is the link for that. It's playclaw.com. And you can check it out. It does cost money. But they do have a trial version you can use. So let's get that out of the way this out of the way and we'll start right in with my microphone setup so for my microphone i am also using adobe edition um, it's part of the creative cloud suite that i have um, i believe you can purchase a separate instance of it as well i highly recommend it if you don't have like a hardware mix or anything like that so here you can see adobe edition running and it's actually live right now as i speak a little bit about my audio setup. I have a Focusrite Scarlett 2 audio interface connected up to my Audio Technica microphone. I'll have information about that in the description below as well. <laughs> but anyways, first thing you need to do is get Adobe Edition configured for your hardware. And oh boy. Uh, preferences audio hardware so you're gonna want your line in to be your source for your microphone now this is the line out or the default output is where we get into the hi-fi cable the VB audio hi-fi cable software that I mentioned before so the reason I do that is because it gives me a separate clean channel for my audio going into a voice meter. Um, once you have your hardware set up, you can add different effects. I have an adaptive noise reduction, multi-band compressor, and hard limiter. So let's get rid of that, and let's get to voice meter. So this is voice meter. So my output from Adobe Edition is going to the hi-fi cable. And if you look in hardware input, I have the input from the audio cable. So anything coming to voice meter is the cleaned up audio source from my microphone. I've got fans, computer fans, and, and Adobe Edition is cleaning that up. And it's making my voice sound really good. <laughs> so anyways, so you will notice I have B1 selected. That is one of the kind of the virtual channels we'll get into more of that probably during the streaming portion in the next video um, the other two inputs you need to worry about are this voice meter vaio and voice meter aux and that comes in handy when you want to do things such as split your game audio from skype or discord or whatever and from your microphone so for an example, this is Discord, and I have it set up so the input device is the output from Adobe Edition, so the Hi-Fi cable output. And the audio from Discord is going to aux input for voice meter. And so the way I have things set up is Skype, I do the same thing, I have the output from Skype going to aux, um, and my system sounds, if I pull that up, I have playback, the default, I just saw something, my default for 
the system sounds is voice meter input, which is different from aux input. So if we come back to voice meter, remember there's two different channels. So if I was to start up a, a game, everything would come through voice meter. You'd see this, this bar move up and down as the game sounds happened. And anything from Skype or Discord would come through voice meter aux. All right, so in PlayClaw, in audio sources, we make sure we've got the microphone set up, the hi-fi cable, the voice meter input, and the voice meter aux input. So remember, input is game sounds or system sounds, and aux input I'm using for voice communications programs such as Skype or Discord. And that allows me to have three separate tracks and I can adjust the volume of like Skype or Discord separate from the game or from my microphone. So in the next video, I will talk about how to use voice meter to send your audio to a second computer um, if you're using a dual PC setup. And then I'll kind of go through some other nifty things that are that are in uh, the latest OBS.